LM test for first order autocorrelation. So you have yt equals to beta 1 plus beta 2 xt 2 plus beta 3 xt 3 and so on to beta k xt k plus ut. And ut, it follows first order autocorrelation, say rho of ut minus 1 plus epsilon t. So what we have done is you can also write this model again as the same thing. In place of ut, you have written this rho of ut minus 1 plus epsilon t. You've written this, okay? Now you want to test for whether this rho is equal to 0 or it is not equal to 0. In case if this is equal to 0, in case if this is equal to 0, then what will happen is that ut will become equal to epsilon t. So whether you write ut or you write epsilon t, it doesn't matter. So in case if rho is equal to 0, there is no first order autocorrelation. Well, in case if rho is not equal to 0, then there is first order autocorrelation which is present. So this is your hypothesis. Your hypothesis is, your null hypothesis is that rho is equal to 0. An alternative hypothesis is that rho is not equal to 0. So you will run this model, run the initial model which you have, this model, the first model, and you will save u hat t. Okay. So what is u hat t? u hat t is y t minus beta 1 hat minus so on to beta 2 hat x t 2 and so on to beta hat k x t k and so on. Okay, so you'll get this u hat. Now you will regress u hat t against all of these variables which were there originally in the model along with u hat t minus 1. Okay, you're using n minus 1 observation because you're using t minus 1 here. Huh? Now from this regression, this is again the another regression I'm telling you. You are regressing u hat t against a constant. Okay, it should be a constant also. Against a constant, x t2, x t3, and so on to x t k and u hat t minus 1. And you will save r square from this regression. You will save r square from this regression. And once you have saved r square, you will compute the LM test statistic, which is LM equals to n minus 1 r square. Why n minus 1? Because you're using n minus 1 observations. You're not using n observations. Because of this, you had t minus 1. You're using n minus 1 observations. Your one observation is lost. So it is LM test statistic is n minus 1 r square, which is distributed as chi square, chi square, uh, chi square distribution with one degrees of freedom and at a level of significance. You'll check for that. So from, uh, from the chi-square table, you'll check for chi-square for one degrees of freedom and one degrees of freedom because that's the only restriction which you're placing rho and at, at a level of significance, you'll check this. So in case if your calculated test statistic n minus 1 r square is greater than chi-square 1a, you will reject the null hypothesis. Your, your null hypothesis is that rho is equal to zero and you will say that yes, there is significant significant first order autocorrelation. The good thing about the LM test is that it can, it is not inconclusive. That's very good thing. It is not inconclusive, one, and, but it would need, um, but, but it would need a um, large number of observations. It's a large sample test. Okay. So, this was LM test for first order autocorrelation.